In this video, I'm going to walk you through step by step on how you're able to stream directly to YouTube, as well as providing you with the best settings for live streaming utilizing Streamlabs OBS. So jumping straight into the video, the very first thing you want to do is open up Streamlabs OBS. And in case if you don't already have this downloaded, I'm going to make sure that I have a link to the installer down in the description below so that we guys can go ahead and follow along. And so once you open up Streamlabs OBS, you're going to come down to the lower left hand corner. You're going to select the option that says log in. You will then be brought directly to your login dashboard. And the only thing you have to do is just click on the option to log in with YouTube. And so now once you have granted all the necessary permissions for Streamlabs to connect to your YouTube account, you will be brought directly back to your dashboard. You will know that your account is connected successfully once you see your username on the lower left hand corner of your screen. Now, if you don't see this, then the only thing you have to do is just click on this little arrow right here and it will open up your side menu for you to be able to see it. And so what you're going to want to do from here is configure your settings so that way you can have the best possible quality for when you're live streaming. So in order to do that, we're going to come over to settings on the lower left hand corner. It's going to open up this particular menu. You are then going to go over to output and you want to make sure you change your output mode from simple to advanced. This is going to give us a lot more options for us to be able to customize for your audio track. You want to make sure you have that set to one. We're not streaming to Twitch, so we don't have to have this check. But for your encoder, you want to make sure that you have it set for your graphics card. So if you are on Windows, it's either going to be NVIDIA or AMD H.264. If you are on Mac, it's going to be Apple VT H.264 hardware encoder. You want to make sure that you have either of those selected. You want to make sure your rate control is set to CBR or constant bit rate. And so now for your bit rate, this is going to be determined based on your upload speed. And so in order for us to figure out how much upload speed we have to utilize for our bit rate, you want to come over to this website, speedtest.net. And I will also make sure that I have a link to this down in the description below so that we guys can go ahead and go directly to this page. And so what you're going to do is click on this button that says go. And it's automatically going to run your internet and it's going to tell you exactly what you're able to work with. And so what we're going to look for is our upload speed. Now your upload speed is measured by megabits, but your bit rate is measured by kilobits. So that means that you have to multiply your megabits by 1000 for you to equal your kilobits. So for me, my upload speed is 31 megabits. I need to multiply that by a thousand to tell me what I have available to me. This is not saying that you need to put this in. This is saying what you have to work with. So I have 31 megabits of upload speed. I multiply that by a thousand. I have 31,000 of kilobits to work with. So the recommended bit rate for YouTube is going to be between 9,000 and 18,000 when it comes to streaming. And so once you know exactly what your upload speed is and you multiply it by a thousand, you are now going to multiply that number by 0.8, which is going to give you 80% of your total bit rate usage. And so once you get that particular number, if it's higher than 18,000, which is the maximum bit rate for 1080p 60 FPS streams, then you just want to put 18,000. But if it's lower than that, then you're going to put in the number that you got. So for example, if you have 16 megabytes of upload speed, you multiply it by a thousand to get 16,000, you multiply that by 0.8, which is 80%, you should be left with 12,800 bit rate. And so whatever number that you got, if it's under 18,000, which is the maximum bit rate, then go ahead and put that inside of Streamlabs OBS. Now my bit rate is higher than 18,000, so I'm just going to leave it at 18,000. And so now for your keyframe interval, you want to leave that at two for your preset. You can put this at P5 for slow, good quality. But if you have a really good PC, then you can go either P6 or P7. But mid range or lower, I would just leave it at P5. For your tuning, I would do high quality. For your multipass mode, I would do two passes for the resolution. And then for your profile, leave that at high. You look ahead, leave that unchecked. For your cycle visual tuning, you can actually uncheck this. For your GPU, leave it at zero. And for your max B frames, leave it at two. Once that's done, you also want to go ahead and press close. 
And so now the very last thing that we need to do before we are able to go live is we need to go over to youtube.com on our web browser, not our phones, not on any mobile device, but on our web browser. And we need to enable the feature to go live. And so once you're on YouTube, what you're going to want to do is come up to the top right hand corner. You want to select the option that says create. You then want to select the option that says go live. It's going to bring up this control room right here. And you're just going to click on the very first option, which is basically getting ready to go live now. And since we're utilizing a streaming software, we're going to select the second option, which says streaming software. And you should now be met directly with your dashboard. And so from here, this is where you're now going to go ahead and set everything up, such as like your title, your category, as to like what game you're playing, as well as any type of information you want to put inside of your descriptions. And so once all this said and done, you are now officially ready to go live. The only thing you have to do is just come back inside of Streamlabs and just click on the button that says go live. Now, once you select that option to go live, there is going to be a pop up menu that's going to show up right here. It's going to also give you the option to add in your title, your description or change any settings that you want while you're live. So you have the option to either do that right here directly on the software or inside of YouTube Studio. Now, really quickly, if this is your very first time ever going live on YouTube, then you will receive this particular message that tells you that you have to request access to stream. And once you request it, it will take roughly around 24 hours for you to gain access. So if that is the case for you, then go ahead and click that button that says request and then just give it 24 hours and YouTube will then notify you when you are able to now go live. And so with that being said, that's going to be all for today's video. And so if you made it to the end or if you found this helpful, make sure you give this a big fat thumbs up. Make sure you guys go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And in case you want to learn the proper way on how to set up all of your audio sources inside of Streamlabs OBS, then make sure you click on this video right here. And I'll catch you guys either in the comments down below or in the next video.